Good morning. For those who are able, please stand for the arrival of the procession. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Keele University and to this very special occasion, the second of our graduation ceremonies today. Graduation is a significant major landmark in your lives, and I hope that you have a fantastic time today. I declare the congregation open. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. It's with a very great pleasure that we welcome you to this ceremony today to celebrate the achievements of our students as they graduate from Kiel. This ceremony provides us with an opportunity to recognize the amazing efforts, the hard work, and the determination that it takes to get a university degree, and to celebrate everything that our students have achieved during their time at Kiel. Graduands, you graduate today having acquired an in-depth knowledge of your specific subjects. But the other skills that you have gained along the way are just as important. In particular, the professional behaviours that you have learned, as well as the ability to work from others, with others from different and diverse backgrounds. These are essential parts of your development and will set you in good stead for the future. At Keele, we are always very proud of our students and alumni. But the respect that we have for you all here today is even greater than usual because of the unprecedented challenges that you faced in your educational journey as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The challenges you overcame have shaped you all into the remarkable people you are here today. To the family, and the friends joining, joining us today. You've also been an important part of the progress of our students, and I'm sure that you two are also brimming over with pride. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank you all for the support that you have given to the students who are about to graduate. Now, there'll be an opportunity to celebrate further after the ceremony at our graduation festival, to which all graduates and their guests are invited. So please do head over to Keel Hall afterwards for complimentary refreshments, food and entertainment. So, on behalf of the colleagues in your school and in your faculty, many, many congratulations on this major achievement in your life. And I can tell you here at Keel, we are all very excited about what you go on to achieve. Will the graduands please stand?
Deputy Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate, I present you these candidates who have been found worthy to be admitted to the degrees for which they have been awarded. Please sit. For the degree of Master of Science, Sara Ahmed. Kafayat Aliou. Sean Kerson. Jonathan Liu. For the degree of Master in Science, Mohamed Halim. For the degree, degree of Bachelor of Science, Stephanie Akintunde. <laughs> Catherine Alessi. Rook Ali Hussain, Hussain. <laughs> Samantha Anns. <laughs> Dania Asaid. <laughs> Alexander Astley. Rachel Barrett. Gregory Berdro. A recipient of the Biochemical Society Undergraduate Recognition Award, Alana Beavers. Charles Bell. <laughs> Martin Burks. <laughs> Emily Bloor. <laughs> Jessica Bauer. Chloe Brackner. <laughs> Recipient of the Society of Biology Top Student Award, Elliot Bramwell. <laughs> Ellie Brennan. Philippa Kaish Leti Capello Ramos. Jordan Carter. Amrita Clare. Charles Caulfield. Margaret Crawford. <laughs> Megan Credland. <laughs> Alicia Dabrowska. <laughs> Martina Dagil. Olivia Darwin Mace. <laughs> Isabel David.
recipient of the Alicia Zaman Memorial Prize, Lucy Denson. <laughs> Zoe Dombros Ryan. <laughs> Sarah Eastham. <laughs> Ibrahim Ali Farouk. Sandra Fisher. Sarah Gafuri. Jonte Jiskum. Morgan Godwin. Sacha Goodman. Amelia Grundy. Imogen May Hammond. Arusa Hannan. Jacob Heath. Kira Heffernan. <laughs> Megan Hopkinson. <laughs> Recipient of the Institute of Biomedical Sciences President's Prize, Samia Ibra. <laughs> Cassandra Jacob. Victoria Jacks. Kobe Jemot McCauley. Danyasaya Yea Ganesh. Eleanor Jones. Megna Julian Sebastian. <laughs> May I ask that the students who have just been conferred please to stand. By virtue of my authority as Deputy Vice Chancellor, I admit you to the awards for which you are listed. Many, many. Congratulations. Please be seated. So can I start by congratulating you all once again on your achievements. Today you can look back with huge pride on your achievements in quite remarkable circumstances. It is a special day and it's one of both celebration and reflection. <coughs> You've got this far through personal commitment and determination, improving yourself, challenging the way you think, learning new skills, stretching your horizons, and learning from others. And you've undergone this alongside students from all parts of society <coughs> and from many parts of the world. And it's hugely important to us at Kiel as an inclusive university with a truly international outlook that we have that inclusivity and diversity. The diversity of students at Kiel has increased dramatically as we've grown our student numbers over the last few years. 
This year we have more students than ever before, with a very substantial increase in our international student numbers, on top of strong growth in our domestic undergraduate student numbers in recent years, as well as those studying for degree apprenticeships or studying fully online postgraduate degrees. And while students take different routes into a university experience, <clears throat> at its heart, a university education is hugely important in our understanding of other cultures. And this becomes even more important when the biggest societal challenges that we face can only be solved through global collaboration and innovation. And when situations change, the value of a university education is to put you in a position where you can adapt to these changes and thrive and flourish in a modern society. And this isn't always easy, but I hope we've helped you develop a level of insight that will allow you to take informed viewpoints to help you thrive in and contribute to a world and a society where global interactions are essential for a more peaceful and equitable society. Your experience at university has been through a turbulent time, the pandemic, economic crises, conflicts and natural disasters around the world have created an environment that had a significant impact on both you and the people around you, both in your personal lives and here in the university. So to keep focused on your studies at a time of such uncertainty and challenge all around you is a major achievement. The adaptability, the resilience and the determination that was necessary to get through your degree is both impressive and deeply humbling. And these will continue to be hugely important characteristics in your future life. The underpinning concepts around Akeel education relate to being a university that believes in an education that prepares our students with a breadth of knowledge and a set of skills that allow you to thrive in that complex and uncertain world. And we hope that the culture that you've experienced during your time at Keele has prepared you to thrive in that global environment and will help you play your part in contributing to these big societal challenges, both through your professional lives as well as through the way you live your lives, looking after your own health and those of others, reducing the impact that you have on our planet and showing respect, kindness and consideration for those in less privileged positions than yourselves. These are all hugely important elements of contributing to a more progressive, inclusive and kinder society. The years ahead may test some of these core beliefs, but the working together with others and providing support to one another that got you through your degree at Keele and the significant challenges that you've fa faced already will provide you with the framework to succeed. That mutual support between students and between staff and students is definitely one of the things that makes Keele stand out as a university. It's important to us and for the reputation of Keele that we prioritise both education and research. This keeps our education contemporary and appropriately informed by the most recent developments and our research grounded in what can really have an impact. In the last few years we've developed four new university research centres that also have skills and education as part of their remit in the areas of global health, sustainable futures, social inclusion and digital society. These are all, as you'll recognise, global challenges and through world-class research at Keele, we are genuinely making an impact in these areas. This is also reflected in the great progress of the university over the last few years in developing our campus offer and the campus, sorry, our education officer offer and the campus. The Harper and Keele Vet School which had its first intake in 2020, is a significant step forward for Keele. Our academic delivery plan involves developing around 100 new degree programmes that enhance our portfolio in established areas such as computing, business, the biosciences and health. But it's also taken us into new areas including sport and the creative industries. Some of the most visible changes while you have been here, have been to the campus itself. The opening of the new central uh, area in Chancellor's Building, the co-op, Greg's, the new Marriott Hotel on campus. The new vet school building will shortly include a full veterinary hospital and practice, which will provide 
placements for our VET students, as well as being a fantastic community facility. Innovation Centre 7 will be home for high-tech digital companies and our new Digital Society Institute. Our campus renewable energy park with two large wind turbines, 12,500 solar panels and a massive industrial storage battery which is directly integrated with Europe's largest smart energy network demonstrator is unique and is hugely exciting and makes our campus a genuine living laboratory for low carbon technology and is a major landmark for the university. It also generates over half of our campus electricity requirements. The park also embeddies our embodies our commitment to being right at the forefront of the essential transition to a low carbon society and being a leader for society more broadly on the critical issue of climate change. However, all of this is only possible because of the efforts of our fantastic staff across the entire institution. And I'm confident that you will recognise the efforts that the staff at Keele have made in order to help you through your degree. So today is about reflecting on this moment, but it's also very much about looking forwards towards your future. You'll recognise how different you are now compared with how you were when you first arrived at Keele, and I hope you've developed the confidence in your own ability and that you've developed a sense of the value others place in you and how proud they are of you and your achievements. As you start the next chapter of your lives, I hope Keel will remain part of your lives and you'll continue to be proud to be associated with this university. You're becoming part of a global network of well over 100,000 Keel graduates. And our Keel alumni demonstrate great value to each other and to the next generation of students through their networks and their links back to Keel. And our graduates are our most valued ambassadors for the university. So please keep in touch, come back to visit us. Your time and your experiences after Keel are hugely valuable to us and you might well want to partner with us on various projects in the future. Next year is Keel's 75th anniversary of its founding. So I hope wherever you are in the world next year, you'll be able to join us in some of our celebrations. And I hope you, our next generation of graduates, will have seen yourselves as part of a thriving, high-quality university that has greatly valued your presence. You're leaving here now with a qualification that people will respect and will open doors and opportunities for you. But you need to make it work for you. You can and you should be ambitious. And as well as wanting success for yourselves, I hope you're also determined to make a difference to the lives of others and to society more broadly. And it may feel a bit daunting at times, but fully embrace the future and be part of shaping it. As a Keele graduate, you've undoubtedly got the skills, the mindset and the attributes to do absolutely whatever you want with your lives. So embrace the opportunities that present themselves be bold, be confident, be brilliant, and be true to yourselves, and be kind to others as well as yourselves. And above all, make sure you have a life of fulfillment and happiness, whatever that involves for you personally. So with that, on behalf of the university, can I wish you, our latest graduates, good health, great happiness, and huge success and fulfillment in everything you choose to do. Thank you. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate, I present you these candidates who have been found worthy to be admitted to the degrees for which they have been awarded. For the degree of Bachelor of Science, Esha Kayla. Catherine Stephanie Kazakina Tidsel.
Eliza Kazi. <laughs> Amelia Lamming. <laughs> Claudia Lubashweska. <laughs> Pranavi Maredi. Elsa Masupe. <laughs> Kanza Mazar. <laughs> Connor McBride. Priyanka Mystery. <laughs> Kaylee Nutt. <laughs> Paulian Sangani. Oren Chukwu Ofule. Aurora Oliyemi. Valentina Ortiz Larajondo. Dominic Osborne. <laughs> Maya Packington Cull. <laughs> Roberto Palacios Aguila. Leo. <laughs> Yukta Patel. Carlos Perez Hernandez. <laughs> Mival Philip. <laughs> Blessy Punoli Solomon. <laughs> Samaya Kayum. Recipient of the Royal Society of Biology Accreditation Top Project Award, Amina Kayum. <laughs> Elizabeth Raju. <laughs> Tony Ray Taylor. Lucy Reeves. <laughs> Recipient of the Ursula Lawton Level 2 Prize and the Oxford University Press Achievement in Biosciences Prize and the Physiological Society Prize, Kristen Rago Hamilton. Adam Rayman. <laughs> Tabitha Salvoni. <laughs> Sirani Samarasina. <laughs> Jeffrey Sathithkantham. Natalie Scott. <laughs> Ms. 
recipient of the Kieran Fry and James Brad Bradley Prize for contribution, Ariana Singh. Gabriella Smith. <laughs> Hannah Smith. <laughs> Salia Sohail. <laughs> Alini Sarula. Jade Stanford Jones. Danielle Stopper. Lewis Tansley. Samuel Thornley. Holly Tidball. <laughs> Recipient of the Campion Prize in Biology, Kyle Tomkinson. <laughs> Ananya Vikram. Tessa Watford. Jake Whiston. Emily Wong. Callum Wood. Ebony Wrench. And Maida Zakuri. May I ask the students who have just been conferred please to stand. By virtue of my authority as Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I admit you to the degrees for which you are listed. Many, many congratulations. Seated. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate, I present you in absentia those candidates who appear listed in the programme who are not present. By virtue of my authority as Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I admit them to the awards for which they are listed. It is an honour to be standing here today and to have the opportunity to speak at the ceremony. On behalf of Kill Students Union, I want to say a massive congratulations to all of you. To our graduates, today is an opportunity to celebrate. What you have achieved is extraordinary, and we are not only celebrating your academic success, but the development as individuals you've experienced. For many of you, you entered university in the midst of a pandemic with virtual learning, yet you persevered and formed lifelong friendships through Teams calls, social media, and had the luxury of being able to go to lectures in your pyjamas. Even coming out of COVID and returning to in-person le learning, you learned a lot too, like how some people still go to lectures in their pyjamas. Most importantly, you learned that you could adapt and change 
and you threw yourself into university life, even if it wasn't what you expected at first. We've seen an increase in students working alongside their degree. Whether this is for extra income or work experience, that is an achievement in itself. Finding the balance between employment and education is extremely difficult, and this commitment, time organisation and determination will only further your success in the next stage of life. From staff in the union, online content creators, shelf stackers, museum tour guides, or even those balancing full-time employment, you have worked tirelessly and you should be incredibly proud. Together, we have worked to elevate the student experience, advocating for positive change and driving initiatives that reflect our shared aspirations. We have organised events that brought us together, challenged norms and fostered dialogue on the issues that matter most to us. We have stood up for what we believe in and made our campus a place where every voice is heard, respected and empowered. We are so proud to have seen develop these voices, engage with other students, challenge our own perceptions, but most importantly, have a lot of fun. So many of you have taken part in extracurriculars over your time here. The roles you've taken on as committee members, student voice representatives, volunteers and part-time officers have been invaluable to our thriving student community. Not forgetting to thank those who came out to every Wednesday night and still managed to get up for that 9am on a Thursday. As resident advisors, you selflessly helped our students on campus and as ambassadors, you played a vital role in enhancing the Kill community. We hope that being a student at Kill and part of our student union has given you skills, experiences and memories that will continue to shape you for years to come. Some of you may be pursuing further studies, entering the workforce or embarking on new pursuits. Regardless of your next steps, be guided by our shared experiences and your journey. We have the power to shape our future and your time is now. As you bid farewell to your time at Kiel, take a moment to reflect on the person you were when you arrived all those years ago. Think about how you've grown professionally and personally, the relationships you've built, the things you've seen, and the adversity you've overcome. The majority of you will not be the same person you were when you arrived. University is not just an institution where you get a degree, it's the foundation for the rest of your lives. I want to take a moment to thank those who have guided you on your journeys, your lecturers, academic mentors, student experience and support officers, the library staff, and even the people in admissions who accepted you. Not to forget the course mates who advise you on assessments, flatmates who listen to your problems late at night, friends who convinced you to do spontaneous activities, and notably the family and friends who helped you through and gave you constant motivation, and in some cases, financial support. We cannot wait to continue celebrating your success. We wish you good luck for the future and know you will thrive in any of your endeavors. It's time to pop the kill bubble. Here's the class 2023, thank you. At the conclusion of this ceremony, let us give thanks in a moment of reflection or prayer according to your practice or belief. We give thanks for our university and recommit ourselves to its mission that the tasks of education and research may continue to be carried out with integrity. We give thanks for the vision of our founding principle, Lord Lindsay, who directed that Keel exist for the pursuit of truth in the company of friends. The university's foundation also drew on the historic motto of the Sneed family, to thank God for all. May that spirit of friendship and thankfulness continue to be fostered by all at Keel. We give thanks for our graduates as they conclude this stage of their education. May their skills and qualifications be used for good in their communities and beyond. We give thanks for all staff who have taught and supported them in their learning. May they know the lasting impact their work has had and the change they have enacted in the lives of our graduates. We give thanks for the families and friends 
present here and around the world. Let us acknowledge with gratitude the love, care, and encouragement that they have given and continue to show towards our students. May we look forward with hope to the future that the successes of this university and its graduates will continue to grow, that the gifts we celebrate today will be used fruitfully, that the world may become a better place. If you are able, may I invite you all to stand. So graduates of Keele University, once again, many, many congratulations on your achievements. I wish you every happiness and success in the future, and may you continue to be fantastic ambassadors for Keele University. So that's the end of the formal proceedings. I hope you've enjoyed this graduation ceremony and that you have a fabulous day of celebrations today. Thank you very much for coming and for your support for Keele. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you very much. I now declare the congregation closed. <laughs>